up guys and welcome back to Veggie on Pennies. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Alexia and I like to share easy, vegan, and simple recipes to help you healthy while being frugal. So as you can tell by the title of this video, today I'm going to try and recreate Mississippi Vegans hamburger helper recipe. So I first saw Mississippi Vegans video about this about a couple months ago and I was so intrigued because even though I don't even think I've had anger, uh, a hamburger helper in my life ever before, I've definitely heard of it so I kind of know how what it entails. It's like kind of like hamburger meat with meat, meat mixed with like pasta and like a good ooey gooey tomato sauce. So I was really interested and uh, yeah, hopefully it turns out just as good and it tastes really, really bomb like his. So um, yeah, without any further ado, I'm just gonna go ahead and start the video. Before we do so, make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel. That's the oven, he's ready. Uh, but yeah, let's just get right into it. So these are all the ingredients that I'm gonna need for this recipe. So. Um, I went ahead and diced and prepped what I could already so I diced up my white onion as well as my garlic one head of garlic so that's gonna be a lot of garlic because usually when I use sauces I do no more than like two three bowls but this is a full head of garlic so we're gonna go really garlicky I already chopped roughly chopped my sausage so um, I used beyond meat sausage because he said you could use burger Beyond Meat burger if you didn't have anything, but I, I was able to find Beyond Meat sausages, so I decided to use that instead. But when I got home, I realized that I got mild Italian instead of hot Italian, like the recipe says. So, um, a bit of a bummer, but I'm just gonna go with that and add a little bit more cayenne to compensate. And also, I'm gonna be using macaroni because I was not able to find the cava, cava text. I don't know how you pronounce the pasta, but it's like a funky long macaroni shape um, And I was not able to find that and I went to like a pretty like high-end grocery store So I was really surprised that they didn't have any of that um, Type at the grocery like in the pasta aisle um, Yeah, I was able only to find some macaroni so I went with macaroni and uh, Yeah, hopefully it turns out just as good. I don't have a Dutch oven. I just have a regular I don't even know what it is. It's just, you know, uh, the Calvalon brand. So it's definitely not a Dutch oven. So uh, I think I'm just going to cook this in here and just transfer it. I don't know if it's oven safe. It doesn't say. So I'm just going to transfer it to like an oven safe bowl when I when it, it is time to transfer it to the oven. But definitely do use a Dutch oven if you have it. It's going to be way more, uh, you know, simpler. But yeah, so I have my pot here, my pan, whatever, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start making the recipe. I'm so excited, like it's gonna be my dinner, so I'm really excited. Hopefully it turns out well, and uh, let's get into it. So Timothy's recipe is actually so self-explanatory. It was my first time um, following one of his recipe, um, and I was so amazed by how he writes it. It's very clear, very user-friendly. I just had my laptop by my side, and I would just refer to it once in a while if I just needed more clarifications but uh, overall I would say it's like a pretty easy to medium difficulty honestly not even medium just very easy um, it re only requires basic ingredients except for like the fire roasted tomatoes and like the sausages it's pretty much ingredients you're already gonna have in your pantry anyways um, but yeah the sausages are were really really good it was my first time trying them from Beyond Meat I found them pretty easily at my local grocery store uh, I did get mild it's Italian instead of hot by accident but um, I mean totally fine I just compensated by adding a little bit more cayenne um, but yeah definitely go for hot Italian if you don't mind spice I feel like it would more if it, it would add way more to the recipe this how this how good it looks you guys like you can just eat it like that uh, the spice mix that was intense you guys look at the like how much spice I just poured in there. Um, I first I thought it was a typo when I saw like a, th a whole tablespoon of onion powder and garlic powder, but it's definitely not a typo. A lot of spices, but also a lot of flavor. Uh, for the diced tomatoes, make sure that you do use uh, fire roasted, like he says, uh, because it's gonna add a lot more flavor. So definitely don't skip on that. I went ahead and splurged on the five dollar can, you guys, five dollars, but definitely worth it for this recipe. Um, 
but yeah other than that just add the soy sauce I didn't have tamari so I just went with soy sauce and this is me when it was supposed to be simmering I was just coming back and forth and just uh, coming back to the pot tasting 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 and taking pictures posting stories of this damn sauce it's so good you can literally just eat it like that with some pasta and uh, you can make like little meatballs it would be so so damn tasty honestly it's so good um, I could not stop myself but yeah if you do manage to not eat it all before it goes in the oven you're gonna want to transfer it because I did not have a Dutch oven uh, I want to get one in the future but I do not have one right now so I just use a oven safe uh, like glass dish I added my pasta because I couldn't find the one he uh, specified but yeah I just added it in um, really be careful with the water like he says you don't want to add too much he didn't really specify like a like an amount of water so you kind of just have to like guesstimate it I didn't have cheese, so I just used onion, crispy onions, because uh, my grocery store was out of cheese. But yeah, this is what it looks like when it's done. If you guys have not tried this recipe yet, you definitely need to go out and buy all the ingredients and do it right now. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think about it. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, 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 uh,